In my view, there is an objective reality. There are objective truths. For instance, I am sitting here in a chair, looking at the camera, making this video. Granted, there are some people who posit that we can't prove any of those things, or even prove that I'm breathing oxygen. I personally find people like that to be pedantic and annoying. There's almost no way to have a reasonable conversation with them. But I also find them to be mostly harmless, as they're a rarity and just don't have much of a chance of affecting general discourse with others. The people who I think are concerning are the ones who think that their religious beliefs are objective truths. That Jesus Christ and what he symbolizes is an objective truth. That the writings in the Bible are objective truths. And they expect their beliefs to be treated the same as things that are provable. And one of the things that was purportedly said was Maggie's direct quote, my personal held beliefs are based on the objective truth of Jesus Christ. And this individual who made the art project, you know, deemed that a microaggression. Look, I just want to say that I don't think microaggressions should be taken seriously. Um, and something that should be called out and, and not even be allowed to be said on campus because somehow you're harming other students when you're sharing what your personal held beliefs are based in. Let's be clear. Your religious beliefs are not objective truths. Feelings are not objective truths either, other than the fact that feelings exist. It doesn't matter whether the feelings are of religious people, woke people, uneducated people, educated people, smart people, stupid people, really anyone. And I'm most certainly not trying to say we should ignore emotions. Not by any means. But we should look at them for what they are. Feeling strongly about something doesn't automatically equate to it being true. Just saying.